where Engineering Explained uh, talks about back pressure being bad, but then it gets super complicated. And we'll put the link to that video down below if you want to watch the whole thing. But here's just a short clip from uh, his video on the subject. In this video, we're going to be talking about why exhaust back pressure is bad. And so first we're going to start pretty basic and then we're going to get into some more complicated aspects of how exhausts work. Uh, so starting with the very basics, we have our engine here, it's got an intake, it's got an exhaust, the power stroke has just happened so our piston is at bottom dead center and we're about to press out all that exhaust, uh, those spent combustion gases, once this exhaust valve opens. Now once this exhaust valve opens, of course that high pressure is going to want to leave and go towards the lower pressure. Uh, and so we're going to define back pressure as pressure with the opposite direction of flow. So of course as that valve opens, the high pressure in here wants to escape because there's lower pressure out here, so it moves out the exhaust. Now back pressure would be resisting that. So as he explained, it, it, he can explain it in a much more complicated manner, but really, really what it boils down to is back pressure equates to a lack of efficiency. You know, the more back pressure you have, the less efficient you're going to cycle those gases through the engine. And we'll get to it in a minute where Mike explains how the engine is pretty much an air pump. The faster you can pump the gases through, the more performance you're going to feel and the more efficient the engine's going to run overall. 